Hello and welcome. I'm just going to do a quick run through of all the decks I have. Just to give people an idea. Um, not all are tarot decks. Um, I've about 80 in total. Um, so I'm going to get a quick run through because I don't want this video to be too long. It's the Holy Grail Tarot. That was a relatively cheap bookshop find, I think. My Zhang Tarot, that was TK Max, I believe. That was also TK Max. Um, both these are excruciatingly cheap. I think the Americans have a um, it's called TJ something or other, the same company. Now, Universal Transparent Tarot, um, like the idea, like concept, it's a little iffy to read with, um, just the way it works out. But then again, I haven't had too much practice with it. Universal, or sorry, the Raider White, ugh, Rider White Radiant Tarot, um, still in the wrapping because I only got it recently, haven't reviewed it yet. I like to leave them in the wrapping until I review them. Questions, uh, sorry, quick and easy tarot. Um, nice little learning deck. Would like it if the pictures were a bit fuller. Um, a lot of these decks I have full reviews of in my other videos. Giant Rider Weight. I love this deck. Ooh. Look at the size of that, seriously. Um, bit hard to shuffle with. I can only do an overhand shuffle with it. Um, this is the standard Rider Weight um, that we all know. That we've probably overpaid for at some point and we all got no it's not that great not that bad but i have had this deck for a while so i'm quite attached to it i've definitely had that over 10 maybe 15 years the tarot of ae weight by agm this is a hard to get english version now i say hard to get it's not that hard to get and um, they will post it to ireland and a few other countries and um, basically outside of I think the only place I won't send it is the UK, the US, and bum 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 Australia. There's a copyright issue with that one. Um, so I got two, and I haven't opened them yet because I want to review them, and it just sort of got put aside. But it is a lovely looking deck. And my biggest fear is I'll get really attached to this deck. Both copies will need replacing, and I just won't be able to get it. Santa Morte deck, and um, Book of the Dead. This was out this year. That's not the price I paid for it. I actually got it quite a bit cheaper. Um, that's limited edition in this case. The only difference between the regular cards and the limited edition is the case. That's it. So if you missed out and you thought, oh god, I'll never get it again, just buy the normal deck. Um, when this opens up, there is a number inside which is handwritten. So that is basically... Um, the numbered edition, it goes up to 19823, um, which is basically the year they started printing decks under that company, um, I think. Lovely, um, lovely decks, lovely cards. <clears throat> now, I'm going to mess this up horrendously bad. This is the Pierpoint Morgan Visconti Zosfira Tarchili deck, lovely deck. Um, very big, again, big hands, the box, not that great box. This hasn't been opened that much because I don't read with it a lot. As you can see, the the cards, that is one of the better condition cards. They haven't touched them up at all. Well, they, I think they have touched a few of them up that were completely unreadable. But I um, love the concept, love looking through them, reading with them, not that great. Expensive enough deck as well, which was kind of what made it very disappointing. Messages from my from your animal spirit guides by Stephen D. Farmer. This is listen. It's a very textured box, and the cards are like that as well. I have two copies, mainly because I bought one copy years ago, and the backs and a load of them weren't printed correctly. Um, at the end, it was completely you couldn't read for someone professionally with them. Uh, mess around with them yourself, yeah, but you know what cards are going to come up. Um, now, another Stephen D. Farmer, Power Animal Oracle cards. This is a lovely deck. The Wicked deck, um, Sally Morningstar. Um, love it. Not hugely wicked, it's a lot pagan y, um, but you know there's a huge amount of crossover anyway. Absolutely love the deck. Um, Fairy Tale Fortune cards, very simple, haven't really read much of them. Answers deck. Um, cheap one off eBay from donkeys years ago. I can't even remember reading with it. But I think there's a little mat in there and whatnot. Tiny cards. 
the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Playing Cards. Again, another cheap one, um, worth having. Um, if you want to learn how to read standard cards, um, it's got the now the printing on these is horrendously bad. I mean, look at that. The cards are literally that bad. But it was like less than five dollars US, I think. Ba bum. The Hermetic Tarot. Love this deck. Not too hot on the quality of some of the drawings, but you know. A um, little bit disappointed, but then again, I do get a little bit disappointed with certain decks. But definitely worth having. Now, Vice Versa Tarot. Are you getting where this is going? You see the front of the card, and you literally see the back of the image. Haven't opened this because it has to be reviewed. Um, again, Book of Shadows, Volume 1 2 by Barbara Moore. Um, yeah, that has to be reviewed. That has to be reviewed. You can get these in a um, combination set with a book, which is, which is a bit cheaper. But I got them individually because I don't think you can actually get the two of them in... They're not actually in their own little boxes. Which I'm kind of regretting now because apparently the book is quite good. Another cheap deck. That was less than a tenner. Um, you see that around quite a bit. These two I'll come back to in a minute. It's a gay tarot. Um, yeah, I got that for doing readings for obviously gay people. Um, a few gay friends I read for every now and then. And I just wanted something specifically for them. It's very, very, very overtly gay. There's nothing subtle about it whatsoever. And it is definitely gay gay. It's not, it doesn't transfer to lesbianism or anything else at all. It's base. it's, is what it says in the tin. But if you're getting it to read for um, any of your friends that might be lesbian or trans or anything, it doesn't really go at all. Um, Tarot of Sexual Magic. Um... Bit of a novelty deck. You can read with it. It's all right, but it's you're not going to read for everyone with it. It's very pigeonholed because of the nature of it. Same with the the common tarot, Da Vinci tarot. Nice deck. Love it. I have two copies of this, um, mainly because this one was only eight euros. Um, it's the exact same size in the, um, once you get it out of the box as this one. It just happens to be in a bigger box. So you know, eight euros. I couldn't pass it up. Sorry. Now this is a um, box I got ages ago on eBay. There is a sort of oracle deck in there. That's a self-published one. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, I love that box. At the time, I think I only paid five euros for it, but you're paying ten euros now. But that was about fifteen years ago. Now, <clears throat> okay, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Got them all on. Or am I missing one? One, two, three. Yeah, no, I'm not. There should be six of them. Um, I got them all on an eBay auction, brand spanking new, in the wrapping. And they're actually all still in the wrapping because I never got around to taking them out. Which I know is disgraceful. I will take them out and review them. The only thing is, I know for a fact, because I had these two before, that the pips are non-illustrated. Which is going to really annoy me. But the artwork is usually gorgeous for the majors. But I got them all on eBay auction. I think I paid like 30 euros for a lot of them together. Plus a little bit of shipping. Which is fucking nothing. Um, the little do. Frere. Enchantments. Lovely artwork in that. I'm probably making a hash of his name. Medieval Scarpini deck. Love the deck. Um, not the easiest to read but Tower of Apocalypsis. Love the deck, not so hot on the cardstock as with a lot of um, La Scarab. It's not always great. Easy to read tarot, I think it paid like, actually no, that was a gift. That was like 25 euros, the girlfriend paid for that. Um, yeah, you have the guidebook, the deck. There is, you can't really see it in there, there's a spreadsheet there, which I wouldn't particularly use. And that's just an empty box that make up space. Um, Steampunk Tarot. Okay, that one um, I originally got and I was told it was very sort of lesbian friendly. Um, not as overtly or in your face as the gay tarot. It's very um, female orientated, which is great because you can read for anyone with it. Um, 
yeah, it's just it's just a really lovely deck. Again, I think that one's Llewellyn, which is do, 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 yeah, Llewellyn, which is, is sister company to the Scarab. Cardstock not great. And again, it's a Barbara Moore deck. Love her decks. Gypsy Fortune book and card pack. Um I think I opened that one. The girlfriend has a copy of it and I played with hers a lot. Um so she picked me up one to stop me. She loved that deck. Palmistry at your fingertips, the complete oracle for reading your character and destiny in your hands. Um interesting one. Blue back over here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, I've done that whole Doreen Virtue thing. Um not a huge fan. But you do pick up the decks, particularly when you can pick them up really cheap. Um believe it or not, I used to be able to pick Doreen Virtue decks up for ten euros ninety nine cents. Um, gone off her quite a bit. Well, never really that hugely into her. But um, especially since she did the whole burn your decks type thing and woohoo, move to Jesus. Um, best angel card deck I ever had though is this one, the Guardian Angel Oracle. Um, I got that for five euros in a secondhand shop. Absolutely loved it. Uh, but boom, yeah, that's all the. Dorian Virtue decks. This one is one the girlfriend read about for a huge amount of time. Masonic Tarot. A um, little bit disappointing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a nice enough deck. Tarot cards. It's a generic one you'll find for about 10 to 12 euros on eBay. Big deck. Um, not that great, not bad. Up here we have the Crystal deck. Definitions of the Ancient Oracles. That's made by... Two particularly lovely ladies do the circuit with the holistic fairies. They're lovely. Now, this is a Russian deck, which I thought was something else. Um, it was very hard to get in English. We got it in Russian, and it wasn't. It was a different one. Um, but also, didn't come with the bag, which was a bit disappointing. Um, yeah, but it isn't. it's a nice deck, just not what I thought it was. Okay, let's scoot over here. Okay. Zombie Tarot, lovely deck. I paid like 10 euros for it. Um, again, good bookstore, fine. I Ching pack, never really use it. Viking Oracle, um, that's quite good actually. Oshu Zen Tarot, um, brand spanking new in the second hand bookshop. Um, the guy got a load of them in, I think himself and the girlfriend got them for 10 euros a piece. Ooh, excuse me. Um, Names of Gods, do. Hey, you, 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 you. Oracle, I can't pronounce it properly. Lovely artwork in it. Um, Toth decks. The white one was my first ever deck, and that's about 20 odd years ago. Um, although, I, if I'm reading with it, I tend to use the smaller blue one because I don't want to feck up the white one. Plus, it's easier to handle. Um, Enchanted Lemon, Lemon, Oracle, and the Crystal Wisdom Oracle. Both um, cheap finds at our local metaphysical store. Angel Secrets card, again, that was a really cheap deck. Um, again, less than a tenner. Cast the Crystals. That was another TK Maxx find, I believe. Bum, 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 bum. Two free decks. I don't think one of them was even open from one of the magazines. Not a big fan of the free ones in the magazines. The Nostra, or the Lost Tarot of Nostradamus. Um, Okay, deck, not great. Heart of Freire Oracle. Um, yeah, it's a nice deck. Camelot. Um, got the Camelot one, uh, the Nostradamus one, pretty cheap in the bookstore, and actually got the Freire one pretty cheap. And I've, so I've been told I got the Vampire Tarot one pretty cheap. But the cards took a lot of peeling to get apart, whatever way they were put together. And I think I paid about 10 euros for the Vampire Tarot. Which was okay. So that's it. Um, ran through them really quickly and I managed to keep it all in under 15 minutes. Thanks very much for watching. Click like and subscribe.